So if you look at this end of the clip here. She sells seashells by the seashore. The S's, the S's are kind of pronounced and we want them to be less pronounced. So um, so that we, we're going to use what's called a de -esser. All right, so uh, I'm going to get rid of this plugin. Boom. And I'm going to turn on a different column. So I have the I.O. column visible, yes. But now I'm going to go to this little white box. It's the window view selector. Click on it and choose the inserts A through E. Make sure it's the inserts. Okay. Then I'm going to click away. So now I have a new column. For this, so what I'm going to do is put in a plugin here that will affect everything on this track. So I'm going to take and include the first drop down right here, click on it, and choose um, a multi channel plugin. It's multi channel because this is a stereo track. I have a top channel, I have a top left left and a right channel so it's a multi-channel so multi-channel plug-in and I'm going to choose dynamics and I'm going to use the Dyn 3 de-esser all right so once that comes in the plug-in comes up and it's essentially uh, what this thing does it listens for high frequencies and then crushes all those high frequencies just takes it reduces it down automatically and under factory default here there's a couple of options if you're for a female voice, you use the female DS, but since this particular clip is a male voice, so I'm going to use the male DS, like so. And and uh, so just listen to the clip now. She sells seashells by the seashore. So see what's happening here? When the volume gets, this line represents the high frequency. Any high frequencies above here gets crushed down. She sells seashells by the seashore. And it's getting crushed down by this amount. She sells seashells by the seashore. You can change where this line is with the frequency. So I'm taking this knob and dragging it down. She sells seashells by the seashore. And you can hear it. You can hit bypass to basically not invoke this plugin. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Hopefully you can hear that difference, right? Okay, so there's the other one here, the male DS high frequency. Look at look at this. So what it does, it only cuts out the high frequencies. Watch. She sells seashells by the seashore. I'm going to reduce that a bit. Uh, bring this frequency down a bit. She sells seashells by the seashore. Hit the bypass button. She sells seashells by the seashore. Here's the plugin back in. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, so that's a de-esser. Um, pick the default first for what you have in your clip eventually. Um, for this particular clip of seashells, uh, this one would be good. And then mess with this until you feel that the S's are less pronounced any sibilance and it'll affect it'll affect this other clip too but Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers a peck of so the peppers the s here gets reduced also pickled peppers a peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked but it's mainly for s's s's and f's and and uh, ch and h and x and z those kinds of things all right so that's how you take care of sibilance Track. This track here uses this de-esser as an insert. So the insert, whenever you put a plug in here, the insert will affect the entire track. But if you use an audio suite EQ like we did earlier for the plosives, this guy here, and you hit render when you choose a clip, right? So you choose a clip and you hit render, this plug-in will only affect that part of the clip. So there's two kinds of two kinds of plugins that you can use. One is called the Audio Suite plugins. These will render. You can render out uh, specific, you know, clips. But this kind of clip insert for the track will affect the entire track. So, so that's the Audio Suite versus the inserts. Audio Suite plugins versus insert plugins.